good to see you this morning. I mean, do, do we think this is actually happening? Is he serious about going forward in 24? I think everyone wants to know that. But actually, let me tell you what Trump has been doing, because it could be earlier than 2024 and not because the election will be overturned. Trump has been endorsing candidates in each of the different states. We're kind of fed up with the rhinos, which are Republicans in name only. And the other thing is that what people don't understand is that the U.S. is a republic. And in that, you have to think of it like we're 50 different countries. And so he wants to really support state legislatures and secretaries of state so that a lot of the problems that happened in 2020 can get cleared up. But this is the talk that has been going on for six or seven months. And that is, um, right now, 29 Democrats in the House have said they're not running again. The prediction is we're going to take the House and the Senate. They're talking about Trump being the Speaker of the Senate, and then he will be able to impeach Biden and Harris, and he will be able to take over because he'll be third in line to do that. And this is a lot of the Republican, the conservative commentators have been talking about this with a lot of detail. Dan Scavino, who handles his social media, keeps sending hints out to us. We get messages in circuitous ways. But don't jump to 2024. I really think what we have to watch is forgive, what's forgive going me, on in the state. Forgive me, forgive me, Jan, for jumping in, but I, I can't help but reflect, because we're talking so much about Russia at the moment, if this was some sort of some sort of strategy that, that Vladimir Putin had used in the past to try and uh, retain or regain a position, we'd be calling it totally corrupt, wouldn't we? Well, see, you're jumping ahead and not looking at it from the perspective of the U.S. The fact is that people want to recruit him to be the speaker. I'm not saying that that is Trump's plan, but the conservative people have been talking about that because the Speaker of the House does not have to be an elected official. Um, so I, all I'm saying is watch what's happening in the states, watch the people that Trump is endorsing, watch after the midterms what happens, because if we take the House, then things are going to turn upside down um, amongst our whole political situation.